Police fear for a child's safety when she is discovered missing from her home. But tonight, did baby Maddox's own father kidnap and kill the tot because he's jealous over all the attention this baby receives because of her cancer treatments? Police fear for a tot's safety when she is discovered missing from her home. But tonight, did baby Maddox's own father kidnap and kill the tot, jealous over all the attention she receives due to the baby's cancer treatments? So many unanswered questions about the disappearance of Maddox Lawrence. It makes me feel that this is kind of the thing that you watch on TV in a crime show. The whole family loves you. I just don't know how any person could ever harm a child. What can you tell me about the father dressing up in a disguise, Tammy Rose? Yeah, when police found him uh, 24 hours later, he was near a thrift store, and apparently he had a disguise, a hat, and a scarf and sunglasses. And he also had some camping equipment with him, as well as a book on how to avoid capture. Unleash the lawyers, Brian Claypool out of L.A., Misty Maris out of New York. Okay, Claypool, give me your best shot. I mean, a book, how to avoid capture, dressed in a disguise. Nancy, the fact that he was in a disguise afterwards actually helps either an insanity defense or a diminished capacity defense. If I'm his lawyer, the first thing I'm gonna do is have him examine to determine whether he's, even whether he's even sane to stand trial. And then if he is, I'm gonna argue diminished capacity because this guy, young man had a ton of pressure on him. He's trying pressure. to make enough money to support the family. And then he's dealing with a daughter, a little girl with cancer. That pressure led to this. Okay, you know what? You need to go over to the children's hospital because the dearest wish of every parent on that wing is their child live, that their child live. And Misty, I don't know if your children have ever been in the hospital, mine have, and I would give my life for them to be well. So what Claypool just said is a hill, that doesn't mean a hill of beans to me, that he went berserk and killed the child because the child was having cancer treatment. It's more like he was jealous of all the attention she was receiving. Nancy, he suffered from extreme emotional distress. He lost self-control. He's in this stressful situation where he's struggling financially. It's a young family and a young child. Whoa, Whoa. lost self-control? He could control himself to go into the thrift shop and buy a disguise, pick it out and buy it. He, I mean, the guy has on a wig, sunglasses, a hat, the works, the, and has a book, How to Avoid Capture? The letter that he left to, to his wife shows that he had mental issues, and that's what the defense is going to raise in this case.